Welcome to the DBMS course by Merit Store. In this video, we will be starting our introduction to DBMS. So, the full form of DBMS is Database Management Systems. But before we start, let us look at the fundamental entities that come under database. So, first thing that you need to know is what is data. Data is the fundamental unit of information that we are going to talk about here. So, data is a collection of information or facts about a certain entity now entity could be a real world object like a, a car a vegetable student eco an e-commerce order entity is anything that exists in the real world S certain information or facts about that entity is called as data so here i have given you three examples entity car car is an entity in real world the data associated with car could be registration number registration type type of car state of registration color then entity student could have information like roll number name age class e-commerce order could have order number amount date customer id many things so data is a collection of information or facts about a certain entity what is a database table so we have already seen what data is when we arrange data in the form of tables which has rows and columns then we call it as a database table a database table is a collection of information about a certain type of entity so what is the entity in question over here it is student student is the entity what is the data being collected about the student the name of student roll number and age and we can have multiple entries in our database table so we have three students and the data associated with them is being stored in a tabular form so this is a database table what is a database database is a collection of such tables the table that we saw this is a simple student database table if i create a collection of such tables together it will be called as a database so database is a storage of interrelated data that has been organized in a way such that the process of retrieving data is effective and efficient so let us have a look at this example database to understand that statement so here we have entities students classes teachers subjects so we are talking about a university database a college database or a school database in which the entities are students classes teachers and subjects these are interrelated okay a student takes classes each class might have a class teacher uh, each class might be teaching a particular subject and each subject might have a associated teacher so all of these entities are related to each other that is why database is a storage of interrelated data now storing it in the form of tables makes it much more easier to find and retrieve data so that is what a database is why is a database needed for two simple reasons one is to simply store data and second is to assess the data to retrieve to fetch data so that we can use it in some application what are the applications of database well everywhere that you look around there is a database every website that you have ever visited works on the basis of a database requires a database some common applications are e-commerce every e-commerce website has a big database of vendors products customers orders then online taxi and cab services, food delivery apps, university, schools, colleges, company, offices, airline, railway, reservation, everything. Everything requires a database to work with. Now we have seen what a database is. Now let us look at what a database management system is. So database management system is a system for storing, modifying and retrieving data from a database. Database management system makes it much easier to use a database to maintain a database and it also provides security features to the database features of dbms include security integrity of data consistency and atomicity we'll be talking about all of these in detail very soon in further videos but database management system is something that makes it much easier to use a database to not just to use but to maintain the database as well so with this we complete the introduction to dbms in this we first started with basic what is data 
then a database table, then database which is a collection of many such tables which are interrelated and then the need of database and then finally database management system.